everyone. So we are on week four of our summer stories on Genesis. We have had creation, we have looked at Adam and Eve, and we have looked at the flood. So today we are looking at the next part of the story of Genesis. We are looking at the story of a man named Abraham. So let's go. And this is where our story is set. So many, many years ago, God decided to build a great nation so that the nation would follow him and bless the world. And God chose Abraham as the man that would begin this nation. Lauren, have you ever tried to count how many stars there are in the sky? Um, yes, but I got up to about 30 and then I think I lost count. <laughs> exactly. There are so many that you can't even count them. Well, God told Abraham that counting his descendants would be like trying to count the stars in the sky. He would have so many children and grandchildren that no one could even count them. Abraham and his wife believed God and eventually God gave them a son and they called him Isaac. Abraham and Sarah loved Isaac so much, but Abraham loved God even more. Even though Abraham loved God and believed what God had said, a day came when Abraham was tested. Now, the testing day was the day that God asked Abraham to do a very, very difficult thing. He was asked to make a sacrifice. During the time of Abraham, people showed their devotion to God by placing food or sometimes an animal they'd killed on an altar and burning up, and this was their sacrifice. But God said to Abraham, I want you to give up your only son. He told Abraham to sacrifice Isaac on an altar. Now, this was a very hard thing for him to do because he loved Isaac so much, but Abraham was also faithful to God. So early the next morning, he took Isaac to a mountain and built an altar. Isaac said to Abraham, Father, where is the lamb we're going to sacrifice? And Abraham said, God will take care of it. Then Abraham put Isaac on the altar. And suddenly a voice said, Abraham, Abraham, don't hurt the boy. Since you have been so faithful to me, I know that you love God the most. Then Abraham saw a lamb in the bushes that God had put there for him and sacrificed that lamb instead of Isaac. So God provided a sacrifice for Abraham because Abraham put all of his trust in God and God blessed Abraham so much because of his faithfulness to him. Well, Lois, that is the end of today's story. But next week we'll be carrying on, so make sure to join us. Bye! Bye.